find the zeros of a function using the TI-83. Example, find the x-intercepts of the polynomial x cubed plus 5x squared plus 5x minus 2. First, we'll graph the function to determine how many x-intercepts. So we'll enter the y equals. We'll simply put in our function. and we'll graph notice that there appears to be three x-intercepts for this particular function we can zoom in on the intercepts by using the zoom zoom box function so notice that the zoom box places the cursor in the middle so what I'll do is I'll scroll out to the right and up just a little bit then I'll press enter and I'll simply go down and I want to make sure that I capture all of my x-intercepts and now we'll go across to the left so what I'm actually forcing the calculator to do is to zoom in on this box area and I'll simply press enter So now we get a close view of the graph. Remember that the number of x-intercepts or real zeros of a polynomial function says that the graph of a polynomial function of degree n will have at most n x-intercepts or real zeros. So this function may have at most three x-intercepts. Here's a calculator solution. First, we'll enter the equation into the calculator, which we've already done into the y equals. Next, we'll use the calculate function, and the calculate function is second trace, which is actually our calculate function. I want the number two option, which is the zero, and I'll simply press enter. So now I'll set a left bound. So notice that there are three intercepts. So we'll calculate the first intercept or the leftmost intercept. So we're going to set a left bound. So I'm going to physically place my cursor to the left of the zero. And I'm going to press enter. Notice that it pops up a sideways triangle. And now it asks me for a right bound. So I'm going to go to the right a little bit. I'm now to the right of my zero, so I'll press enter. Notice that it sets a right bound. And this sideways triangle should appear to the right of your zero. So we set a right bound. We hit enter. For guess, we're simply going to hit enter. And the x-intercept for this particular function is negative 3.3. Next, we'll calculate the next intercept. So we'll simply go back into the calculate function. So here are the steps again, second and trace. We want the second option, which is the zero, and we'll press enter. Next, we'll set a left bound. So I'm simply going to set a point to the left. And notice it should place a sideways triangle to the left of my zero. Now we'll set a right bound and we'll press enter. For guess, we press enter again. And our next x intercept is negative 2. We'll next find our last x intercept. So once again, we'll go into the calculate function second and trace we'll select the zero function next we'll set a left bound so I'm simply going to move my cursor and set a point to the left of my zero and I'm going to press enter now it asks for a right bound so we'll set a right bound and we'll press enter 
it asks for a guess we'll hit enter again and our last intercept is 0 0.3